I don't think you've seen this yet. I was kind of trying to keep it secret from you oh, because, no. uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh huh. It's one of my favorite things. Uh, so there's a Twitter account. I believe the person's name is Ben Pfeiffer at BJPF underscore. Uh, we once did, uh, back in the Spotify green room days or locker room days, we used to do some live audio rooms and we once put together a big, like, NBA draft event where we were mock drafting a bunch of players and we wanted experts there to help comment on uh, every pick that came through. Ben Pfeiffer was like our, our guy. We brought him in and um, yeah, he did a great job. I became a big fan of his stuff, followed him after we didn't really know him going into it. Uh, shortly after that, he unfollowed me and I've never heard from him since. So I'm pretty sure he hates us or has no respect for what we do, which is fine. Uh, he is one of the, I think, hardest working NBA draft scout people. Like he really does dive deep into co college basketball, international basketball, just NBA draft scouting year after year after year is a very unique way of doing things. Anyway, his top 10 prospects for next year. He just released a new update that, uh, I think he has a top 30 total for the 2025 class, but I'm fixated on the top 10 because if you look at Ben's top 10, you will find four big 10 players in the top 10 of Ben's top 30 for the 2025 NBA draft way too early rankings. He has Dylan Harper third behind, by the way, Cooper flag at one Rocco Zakarski two. Ben's really high on Rocco Zakarski. Dylan Harper is three. Kasparis Yakishonis is at seven. Ace Bailey is at eight. And Will Riley is at 10. Two Illinois players, two Rutgers players in his top 10. Uh, how crazy do you think it is to have four Big Ten players in the top 10 of the NBA draft next year? Okay. Your initial thought is like, that is crazy. But when you take a step back, I really don't think it's that crazy. Because I think there is a world where all these guys – perform well enough to be top 10 picks. Like I think that Dylan Harper and Ace Bailey are certified. There's those are two top 10 picks right there. If Kasparis Jackashonis can play well enough and Will Riley can do enough this year to be really good for a good Illinois team, they will most certainly get consideration to be the top 10 picks in my eyes. If Illinois has two top 10 picks on its roster this year, everyone is way too low on this team. Like, well, I, okay. With that said, that was more of there's a world where that happens. I don't think it happens. I just like, we got to say that out like two top 10 picks is like your Calipari, Kentucky. Like your it, your Pikel. You know how hard it is to have two top 10 picks. Like, has that even happened with our programs ever? I think Miles Bridges ended up outside the top 10 and you you yeah. guys were talented as hell. I'm trying yeah. to think the, the best Michigan teams never had two guys go that early in the same draft. Like um, mainly that's like a Duke thing or yeah, Duke Duke's the only one I can think of. It doesn't happen. Now it's going to happen with Rutgers because Harper and Bailey are that good. Um, Pike like, going to assert his name to that conversation with the, well, with the greats that get two top 10 picks. I was waiting for you to rip on Ace Bailey at eight. In yeah, this. that's ridiculous. I mean, that's ridiculous. Yeah, you don't see it? Yeah, I mean, I, I love Kasparis. I love a lot of the guys on this list, to be honest with you, even though there is a guy. I've never seen Rocco Zakarski play basketball hand up here. That's all. Well, then you're you're not watching Ben because Ben's timeline has a lot of Rocco Zakarski. He's super high on him. Oh, yeah. I also unfollow Ben as well when he unfollowed me. Uh, uh, just a uh, petty boy move. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to let him do that to both of us <laughs> and have one of us follow him. We are we are one here at Sleepers. Mm. Um. But yet, uh, also he has Malawak very low. Malawak at nine, um, with Boogie Flan going five. Let's uh, Wait, let's read the full top ten. Cooper Flag one, one Rocco Zakarski two, Dylan Harper three, Nolan Traore four, Boogie Flan five, VJ Edgecombe six, Kasparis Yakashona seven, Ace Bailey eight, Common Malawak nine, Will Riley ten. And for the record, this is not a mock draft because if this makes its way back to Ben, I have a strong feeling he's gonna like clip this and be like. This is not a mock draft. It's my my categories, my rankings. Um, and, and he does, he color codes by like tier, basically. Like Cooper Flag is alone in his own tier at one. Then he has Zakarski, Dylan Harper, and Traore in a second tier. 
two, three, four. And then there's a bunch of guys beyond our top 10 that are all in the same tier with Kasparis and Ace Bailey and Will Riley, uh, Liam McNeely, Colin Murray Boyles, Jaleel Batea, Hugo Gonzalez. He goes all the way through like Igor Devin's 24th later on this list. But the point is for me, I wanted to have this conversation because it's the first time I've seen Will Riley mocked in the top 10. It's the first time I've truly seen all four of these Big Ten guys there. And, you know, the Big Ten gets a bad rap for talent. Maybe we're really underrating talent here. Because if you look through Ben's other top ten here, like, okay, Maluox at Duke, uh, VJ Edgecombs at Baylor, Boogie Flans at Arkansas, Traore and Zakarski aren't here. So, <laughs> like... As far as college basketball talent goes, the Big Ten has more top 10 picks than Duke and Baylor and Arkansas combined. I mean, you could also keep going through that list. He's got Owen Freeman at 21. He's got Junie Mobley, the Ohio State freshman, at 26. He's got St. Thomas at 29. Yeah. Talent in the Big Ten. Who would have thunk? Yeah, I really like this. It's that time, Cart. Football season is approaching, and you know exactly what that means. It means that we are both going to bet and bet a lot with our friends at MyBookie. Yeah, MyBookie is the best and premier sports book used by us over here at Sleepers Media. They have everything you need, Greg, with football season approaching. There's nothing I love more than looking at a nice Saturday slate and even leading into a little bit of Sunday, dipping into the NFL, but there's no better place to do it than with my bookie. And I think we got a great offer for the folks over uh, at my bookie if they want to tap in with us. We sure as hell do. And I'm going to tell you all about that offer. But first, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about the great benefits of betting with my bookie. My bookie is safe, secure. Most importantly, when you win, you get paid quick. If the first two legs of your parlay hit, cash out early, use those funds on another bet or let it ride for a chance at a bigger payday. With football season coming, they're going to have a bunch of great things in store for you, whether you're looking to bet futures, game lines, player props, all of it is available with our friends at MyBookie, and you can get a 50% deposit match up to $1,000. There's a link in this description, promo code SLEEPERS with MyBookie. Make sure you get that 50% deposit match. Use those funds. Maximize your chances of winning as football season gets here, and we'll be there with you every single step of the way. 